In this video, we're going to look at the Google Data Studio and how can we access templates and then start using those templates and connect to our Google Analytics data. It's another great way to be able to get fantastic reports from your Google Analytics data. So let's have a look. So in previous parts of this Google Analytics series, we've looked at how we can create our own custom reports, importing reports from the solutions library and setting up and creating custom dashboards. Google has also got another free tool that's really cool that we can use that I think is actually more powerful in terms of the reports that we can create. We can customize them, brand them in ways to fit in with company guidelines, log add logos, color schemes, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how we can access our Google Analytics report templates from within the Google Data Studio. So the first thing that we need to do is go to datastudio.google.com. So if this is the first time that you are logging in here, you're going to be prompted to sign up for emails about the service and things like that. So the usual sort of marketing stuff or things in terms that you're agreeing to. So make sure you read them and then select the appropriate responses for yourself. Now what we're seeing is a bunch of different templates that we could use. Now, underneath each template, we can see the service or the data source that it's intended to be used with. So we can see there's one about um, the search console. So we've looked at the search console in a previous part of this series, uh, Google Ads, YouTube Analytics. And here we've got one for Google Analytics. I'm going to go ahead and click and select this one. Now, once the template's open, we can see it's showing us what it would look like but it is not tied to our own data yet. So what we need to do is up here, click on use template. Now what we're seeing is a little bit of information about Google Data Studio. So just kind of, again, some of those sort of marketing type things, welcome, we can connect, visualize and share and so on. I'm gonna click on get started and I'm going to acknowledge I've read the terms and agreements and click accept. And again, we're going to say, uh, we'll say no on these ones. All right, so let's go ahead and click done. Okay, so now it is prompting me and saying, okay, well, you're gonna make a copy of this report, but you need to select the data source that's going to be added to it. So we can see there that this is the sample Google Analytics data. We don't want a sample, we want our actual analytics data. So we're gonna click new, create new data source. And here what we're looking at is a list of all of the different connectors that we can tie this to. So the different data sources that we can use. Now these are all of the Google connectors, but if we scroll down, we can see there are partner connectors. There's a lot of stuff in there. So that's great. And something certainly for you to look at in future um, if you are interested. But for this purpose, we are going to go straight to Google Analytics. That is what we want to link to. Now we need to authorize. Data Studio to be able to connect to our Google Analytics account. And then once you're connected, you'll see the different accounts that you have access to. So I'm gonna go with the Megan V Walker account, the specific property and all website data. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Then what we're seeing is all of the different fields, um, the type of fields, it's just basically an overview. You don't have to do anything with it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add this to the report. And once it comes back here and we can see, okay, well, we selected the all website data data source. We're going to go ahead and click copy report. And now it's taken us to a copy of the sample of Google Analytics marketing website for that specific report. Now, before we do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the sort of landing area of the home page. And what I'm going to do is click on the data sources. Now, the reason I'm doing this right away is what can happen is when you, if you're using the Google Data Studio and you really kind of get to grips with it, um, and maybe you're creating reports for multiple different data sources or multiple Google Analytics accounts, what will happen is you'll see all website data for each of the different accounts or the different views that you've connected to, if that's the name of the view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this instead of all website data. I'm going to say Megan V Walker, all data. 
and let's go ahead and rename that. So now if I'm creating new reports and I'm looking for the data source, I can immediately see which is the correct one to select. So um, you don't have to, but again, just a, a little tip. So I'm going to go back to the reports and I'm going to go into that report that I copied. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and edit this because I want to change the name, first of all. And I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to say uh, Google Analytics website data. Call it whatever you want. Also here it says sample report, make a copy to edit. I don't want that text to display, so I can go ahead and I can click on it and delete it. So now I'm starting to make some changes to this report. Now, when we look at it, to me, it is probably one of the most intuitive things that I have used. It's very straightforward. It also has a sort of menu layout that you should be used to if you're using any sort of Microsoft products. For example, um, you have your navigation along the top. We've got file, we've got edit, we've got view, insert. And then we also have different buttons and icons along the top that we can use as well. So we can go ahead and we can insert different things, different charts. Um, we can add new pages. We're not going to do any of that in this one because we're just literally using the template just so we can see and get started with it. There are a couple of things I'm going to do, though. I'm going to click on File, and then I'm going to go into Report Settings. And this is where you're confirming or you're basically seeing the data source that you are connected to. So we could go ahead and we could close out of this select the, the data source that you're wanting to connect to. So let's go back to this one. What we're also seeing is a date um, range area that we can select from. Now, we can see here, if we are viewing the report, we have a date control. And that's great, and it works when you are viewing the report within the Google Data Studio. However, if you want to use this report and have it scheduled and emailed to somebody on a regular basis, then that's not going to work if they're looking at it from within in the email. So we want to go ahead and make sure that the dates being used in the report are the ones we want. So I'm going to go back to my file report settings. And in the default date range, we can see there it says custom and it's going to show the last 30 days excluding today. So I might say, well, I want this to go on a weekly basis. So I'm going to say last seven days. And that's great. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it. OK, so at the minute we're looking at the last seven days. And then what I can do is I can share and I can schedule the email delivery of this report. So I said I wanted it to be the last seven days, but I basically want to be looking at the last week. So I'm going to, going to schedule this to go on a Monday at 7 a.m. weekly on a Monday and I can customize the email subject in the message if I want to and then I go ahead and schedule it and I can put in additional recipients so I want this to go to multiple people and click schedule to save that so now, now that will be emailed every Monday at 7 a.m. and it will always show the previous seven days worth of data so that's a way we can kind of use a, a scheduled recurring report. So that is a, a template that we're finding within the Google uh, Data Studio. If I, again, go back to the home page, any of the reports that I copy or create are going to be listed here. That's a great way to get started with your first one. Another place that you can go to is if you go to the datastudio.google.com forward slash, then you can do forward slash gallery. And what we're finding here is a mixture of different um, marketing templates that are basically have been submitted by people within the community. So there's some fantastic options that are out there. Um, we can see a sort of a, an overview or a snapshot of what it's going to show us on here. What we can also do is we can sort of um, filter and look at marketing templates, we're seeing here that we've got some different ones for Google Analytics. We can see ones that have been created by the Data Studio team, but then the community ones. And here we can see that people have been, been doing some really cool things with the data or the, the layout of the um, analytics data. And again, 
these are from the community and so they are going to be um, designed to be linked to different types of data sources there you can see one that is designed for um, Google Fit um, so we've got things for Google Analytics um, so there's a lot of really really cool information in here and it's just a matter of kind of looking through and saying okay well which one might be the best fit what is it that I that I want to display or just what looks cool and you kind of want to have a have a look at it and dig into further so again with that one for some reason I don't seem to be able to find a link directly to the gallery from um, data studio so data studio.com sorry data studio.google.com forward slash gallery will get you here um, otherwise if you are in Google Data Studio I haven't found a, a link to get to it directly um, but this is where you'll be able to start from a template that has been uh, designed by somebody that works at Google that works on the Data Studio product and has put in here so go ahead have a play try out go ahead and add in that specific template and have a look at your data Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.